Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I came up with this summery look that you can wear basically like every day or like to the beach or to a party, whatever you decide. Um, and I came up with this look using all new products that I picked up over the cap over the past couple of weeks and I know that a lot of the products in this video that I am showing that's new to me it may not be new to you or new to the beauty community here on YouTube if you want to see how I came up with this look you can just go ahead and keep watching this video All right, so I already put on my eyebrows and for prep I already put on the Murad oil control mattifier this has SPF 15 and I picked this up because I needed something that had SPF and that was good for my skin because I really don't like the sunscreens that really smell, if you know what I mean, like the banana boat smell. Um, and this actually does not smell bad at all. It just has like this weird, it's not weird, but it doesn't really have a strong scent so that's what I really like about this. I know that this product is a bit pricey but I feel like skincare is something that is important to invest in so I really like this so far. Following the sunscreen I put on the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm as a primer. So next I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics CC my dog is outside. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Your Skin But Better CC Cream. And this one has SPF 50 plus. So that is always good. And I picked this up in the shade medium because the darker color, which was tan, was a little bit too dark for me. So I hope this one is good. And I know um, the products that I'll be talking about isn't really new to YouTube but it's new to me so I just wanted to you know so anyway um with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and apply this with my Real Techniques buffing brush I feel like this medium shade is a little too light for me so ooh, that's a lot that's a lot that's a lot that's a lot. Okay, that's a lot. This is a lot and it's very light. Mm, I don't know, I don't know. <sighs> this product actually has a really good smell. It smells kind of citrusy, like, like, lemons so I am not mad about it and as for the color it's actually blending into my skin really well so I like it all right so this is my skin with the foundation on I think I I think I do actually like this I don't like foundations that are too heavy on my skin so this is actually perfect even though it's a little bit light it still fits in not fits in but it still blends into my skin really really well um but i don't know how tan i'll get in the summer so that's probably a problem but i can probably just mix it in with another foundation okay next i'm gonna go in with some concealer and i'm not gonna put too much concealer because i for the summer i don't really like um, super heavy makeup, so I'm just gonna put a little bit there, a little bit there, a bit of highlighting action there. And even in the summer, I do like to highlight my skin, like the T zone area, because I feel like when you're being taken photos of, it's not really, it's not a cohesive look when the flash like hits your under eyes and it like glows your eyes like glow white and it's kind of weird so i like to put it in the t-zone area so it's a little more even so what are you guys doing for the summer um comment down below what you guys are doing um over the summer or like enter my poll on the 
top right hand side um what you guys are doing over the summer because as for me i have a summer class yeah i'm taking summer classes at my at my local community college because i want to graduate earlier i want to not graduate earlier but i want to get in as many units as i can so i can finish sooner so i'm gonna set my whole concealer situation with the laurie i was gonna say l'oreal the laura mercier translucent powder and i'm just gonna take that on a real techniques setting brush i'm just gonna set my under eyes so like i was saying um over the summer i'm taking classes so that's going to be fun. I'm taking a biology class. Yeah. Because I am majoring in nursing. So I have to take all these science classes. Next, I'm going in with my MAC Sheer Press Powder to set the rest of my face just super lightly. Ever so lightly. And so like I was saying, um, I really... Or, Growing up, I've always wanted to be a nurse because my mom was a nurse and now that I'm in college and now, I, now that I can make decisions for myself, I feel like I want to go all the way and maybe go to like um, get my master's and become a pediatrician because I love working with kids. Um, my previous job, I, I'm currently unemployed, but my previous job I was working with um, kids and I really liked it because kids don't judge you and kids are just so blissful and it makes me feel, I don't know, like good. My kids are so young and so blissful and they don't give a care about life and what's happening in politics and the economy and whatever. So that's always very refreshing. So I'm going to go ahead and bronze my face for that summery sun kiss look. And I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. So I'm going to take a break from doing my face right now and I'm going to move on to my eyes, my eyeshadow. Alright, so I've already primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my new eyeshadow palette that I got in the mail recently and it's the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette. It's the Holy Grail palette and it looks like this. I have not touched it or swatched it or anything. It looks just like this, and I know that it's not new at all to YouTube, um, but it's new to me, so I just want to go ahead and show you how I will execute a certain look. And this palette is definitely like a, a more autumn, fall type palette, but I feel like since it's like a holy grail, I feel like since it's like a holy grail um, eyeshadow palette, I like it's like a year round type of thing so let's just get into this before i keep talking so i'm gonna go in with this shade called thanks a latte with a sigma e40 Ooh, the eyeshadow palette is not i actually probably enjoy this a lot there's not a lot of fallout in the palette, which I really like, so you're not wasting a ton of product. So that's always a plus in my book. So I'm not exactly sure what look I'm going for today, so we gonna do this together. Okay. Next, we're gonna go in with a transition shade with my morphe g17 brush looks like this and i think i want to go for a super warm look so i'm gonna go in with the transition shade called transition it's right there it's 
very cute and I really like all the um, names of the shadows in this palette it's very creative I guess and it's very different from a lot of like other palettes like some of the names are like hashtag how you doing are you kitten me so jelly on fleek wine and dine what else cool bean back my eyes awesome sauce plue like it's so like playful and that's awesome I guess and I'm rambling but you know who cares with a more dense uh, blending brush, I'm going to take my Sigma E25 brush with the shade Are You Kitten Me? It's like a shade darker than Transition, so I'm just going to take that and put it over my crease area where I put Transition. Just to give this look some depth and dimension. Just kidding. I'm not a beauty guru. I just love makeup. Alright, so next I'm going to take the shade Brownie Points. It's this color in the corner here. And I'm going to just take that with the same E25 brush and put it more towards the outer, outer corner. I don't know. And I'm not going for like a super like precise look today. I'm just going, going for something natural because... I'm not doing anything special, sadly. With a smaller bl 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 with a smaller blending brush, I'm gonna take brownie points again and really concentrate it on like the lower half of my eye because that big brush wasn't doing anything. So I'm just gonna keep going back and forth with brownie points and this um, blending blending brush because okay I'm gonna go in with the Morphe I'm gonna go in with the Morphe G17 and blend this out because it's not working out all right so I just finished putting on my mascara and I decided that I don't want to put falsies on today because I want to go for a more natural look not that any of this is natural but uh, I want to go as natural as possible, so I'm not putting on falsies. So next, I'm going to use like a bronzer topper to go over my um, Too Faced bronzer. And for that, I am going to use this Hikari uh, quad bronzer that I got from my Ipsy bag this month. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to go in with this and just go over my uh, bronzed area so that it can like kind of shimmer a bit and be more skin-like. <laughs> I don't know. So it looks like I've been sun-kissed. That's the look I'm going for. So I'm just going to mix these three shades right here and hope for the best. So I'm just going to mix those three shades most... And tap off the excess because I don't want and then I'm just gonna go over all the bronzed areas I don't know if it makes much difference but we're gonna try and the camera is definitely washing out like my face so you can't really tell what it really looks like but it looks good I promise. And now I'm going to take the same uh, topper and take it all along my temple and my forehead. I actually want to get a new bronzer um, for the summer, like a kind of shimmery bronzer, kind of warm bronzer. So if you have any suggestions for a good like warm shimmery-esque bronzer leave it in the comments down below i would love to see your recommendations on what you guys would use or what you guys have um yeah just let me know i'm in i'm in the market for some new makeup so let me know let me know let me know so next i'm gonna go in with my a palette that i recently got in the mail actually i got it yesterday so <laughs> Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's the Becca and Jaclyn Hill collaboration um, Champagne collection face palette and oh my god, it's so beautiful 
it looks just like this and I'm pretty sure like you've seen it everywhere um oh my god this is the most satisfying feeling ever but I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this everywhere Jaclyn Hill um came out with this about last week the 26th so um right when it came out on Sephora I girl you know I was all over that so the shades that are in here, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm going to go for anyway. Oh, you can see. Ooh. All right. So this blush right here, like blush topper as Jaclyn Hill herself would like to explain it, is called Rosé Spritz. This is Amaretto and this is Pamplemousse. Pamplemousse. And then this right here is the original Champagne Pop, and this is Prosecco Pop. So, with that being said, I'm going to start... Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and go in with Prosecco Pop, and I'm going to take that into my inner corners. Pop it right in there. Oh my god, it's so nice. Can you tell the difference? I don't think you can, but whatever. I'm going to do some blush right quick. Uh, and for blush, I'm going to use my Morphe E48 brush. And I want to go in with... Hmm, what would look good with this? I want to say I want to go in with Amaretto. But I want to try out what Jaclyn Hell has been raving about. Which is Rosy Spritz with either champagne pop or prosecco pop right on top so i'm gonna try that out so i'm gonna go ahead and take rose spritz on my brush oh it's very pigmented very pigmented and i'm just gonna take that all along my cheek and up like right above like where my right above my bronzed area Okay, I'm going to take my Morphe M501 brush and I'm going to take, should I take Prosecco or Champagne? Let's take Champagne. I'm going to take Champagne Pop. Yeah, I'm going to take Champagne Pop with my Morphe brush and I'm just going to put it right over Rosé Spritz. Oh my god, it's so this camera is definitely not doing it any justice, but oh my god. I die. Oh my god, my glow girl. And shout out to my boyfriend for getting this for me. I had an appointment at like 8 50 the morning that it came out and I texted my boyfriend I was like hey wake up you gotta get this for me and so um, I gave him my card information and he got this for me bless his soul <sighs> I love it it's gonna fit perfectly with my little palette collection let me know in the polls in the top right uh, on the top right of this video go ahead and click on it and let me know if you want to see a palette collection video like a more in-depth type i know i made a makeup collection video and i went over all the palettes that i had but if you want a more in-depth video about it let me know i will go ahead and do that for you guys because i have more time but yeah this is basically my look for the summer um, I'm just going to go ahead and throw on some something on my lips so it doesn't look so bare. So on my lips for today, since I'm going for a more summery, dewy, like kissed by the sun look, I'm going to go in with a more like moisturizing lipstick. It's a lesser lipstick called Jubilee from MAC. And it's just a nude it looks like this i'm just gonna throw this on my lips it gives me like a good shine and it's a lot more moisturizing so this is the look that i came up with today i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did go ahead and leave me a thumbs up down below and also um don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already so you can see more of me
I'm just kidding. But yeah, if you want to subscribe down below, it's your choice. You don't have to if you don't want to. Yeah.